Hello Zwift racing fans from around the world, I am Snowman Cycling and this is another race recap video for you. This week we're taking my first ever trip to the Glasgow Crit Circuit. I've never been there before, never raced it, so in celebration we're going to try and have some fun, cause some chaos and crush the competition and see if we can pick up the win along the way. And for those of you that aren't too familiar with the course like me, this is part of the new Glasgow World Expansion that we just had in Zwift, and it's a 3k crit course. The only real difficulty is that Clyde Kicker KOM 3.6%, 0.3 kilometers, and we are going to be doing five laps of it, so that's going to be just over 15 kilometers. And whilst the Clyde Kicker KOM is the only real difficulty, unlike Crit City, this one's never flat. There's always a few bumps, rollers, and rises to keep our eyes on, make sure we're not getting dropped off the back. So let's jump straight into this one, see if we can formulate a plan that is going to cause maximum carnage and give us the best chance at picking up the W. And as we go through the KOM the first time on this first lap, I wanted to get a good look at it. I didn't want to push the pace myself, I wanted to see what the other riders did and how hard they went. And these were my observations. A, that KOM is not particularly long. It's not really long enough to get away or cause too much damage. And B, those riders didn't go particularly hard through that segment and took it quite easy, which is making me think that either everybody else was doing the exact same thing or people are feeling a little bit cagey and are trying to keep something back for the later laps, knowing that they're going to have to do that KOM four more times. And as we approach the end of the lap there, that's one lap down and in the books. And it was quite a lot easier than I was expecting the start of this race to be. Usually crit races are pretty brutal from the work go and it's about hanging on for the first five minutes and then seeing who's left and what you've got to deal with. But at this point, I'm starting to get suspicious. This is suspiciously easy and I'm wondering what the plan is for these other riders as well as the options that we've got to play. And realistically, and realistically, this is going to go down one of two ways. Either the pace is going to stay like this, and I'm going to have a pretty easy run of it. Or, more likely, the pace is going to pick up on these later laps, as the laps tick down and we get closer to that finish line. This suits me all day long. Take me to the last K, like this. But I'll be very happy if we can get to the last K like this. And then you know the drill, people. All in. Maybe, if it's easy, we can push the pace a bit here on these comms. See who feels good. Try one. What do you think on the next huge comms? Should we try and push the pace? Maybe we can get a break going here. But as you can see, it's difficult for that elastic to snap and it all just comes back together. We may be able to get away there. Maybe. And so we decide Okay, on the comms we'll push it a bit. Cyclocross style, like Van der Poel or Juan Van Aert, then maybe we get away, huh? Maybe. But I'm conscious here, from the looks of this, I may well have the best sprint. Don't want to throw away an easy win, but we'll see. Saying that, there'll probably be a monster here. 10 watts per kilo for one minute. I haven't got that today. And of course, in crit races, you have two options, really. Usually, I think the best option, especially for me, is to try and sit in, save your energy for the end, and go for the sprint finish, especially if you're a weaker or lazier rider like me. But the other option, like I just mentioned, is that Van der Poel, Wout van Aert, cyclocross style, where if you're the strongest rider, you just go as hard as you can every single lap and try to blow everybody off your wheel. Better here for the come. Definitely going to push the pace a bit. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. You know I'm a lazy sprinter, I like to save as much as I can. But we'll dare to dream a bit here, huh? See what these new feather power-ups are like, maybe we can test it out. 
So that's our plan set in stone. At the next KOM, we're going to go all out, try and hit this field of crit riders with everything we've got. But as we're getting ready for this, I've noticed that there is definitely a bump up in the pace and the power over the last lap or so from the riders in this group. Everybody's starting to get a bit antsy. And as soon as we hit this KOM itself, I come to the front of the group, use that new and improved feather power up, which is now even longer than before, to see what chaos we caused in the back of the group. And if anybody got dropped off the back. Caused a bit of damage. And I'm right, we did cause some damage there, but not really as much as I was hoping. Like I said earlier, that comm isn't really very long. And even with the feather power up and doing some decent numbers on the front, there's still a lot of draft behind. So even the riders without that great punch can stay in. But now we have the advantage. Okay, now we know who's got good legs. Because we can see which riders were able to react to that attack and were able to come with us, snap close the gap without too much difficulty. And we're going to keep an eye on those riders for later on and the later laps and also for the finale. And at this point in the race, I start to suspect that the idea of getting a solo break to go away from this group may not happen. Everyone's still in. <laughs> Because I think we've only got rid of maybe one rider from this group. I think the best we're going to be able to do is to make it hard on every climb. Try and sap people's legs. Maybe we can get rid of a couple of riders. A couple of the weaker riders from the back of the group. Seeing as we've got two more bites of that KOM cherry left to go. And if it does come down to a bunched group sprint finish. Well we're going to make it as hard as we possibly can for everybody. And hopefully we're going to be the ones with that sprint and that punch left Something to give for that finish line. And as we come back around to the KOM for the penultimate time, I know we're going to have to go quite hard on this one. I haven't got a power up. I used it a bit earlier on because it was that van power up. So no real use to me here if I'm going to be trying to push the pace. And as we do that, we have one of the other riders, Grand Jean, comes around and we get a little bit of a break here. But as you can see, the gap's just not enough. The other riders all very close behind. So there's no real way, in my opinion, that a solo or even a couple of riders are going to be able to stay away from from a group like this it's too rollery the pace that that pack picks up on the descent is just too much for a solo rider or two to overcome and as you can see this is getting quite difficult now the heart rate is going up the pace in this group is definitely going up my ability to talk to the camera has diminished entirely and some of the stronger riders in this group like robinson and petter are keeping that pace really really high and we'll see from the average powers at the end there's a few riders in this group who did 4.1 4.2 4.0 watts per kilo average showing that they were just keeping the pace ticking over really really high trying to stop the punchier riders like me from getting that recovery after the kom effort and just keep the pressure on keep everybody's heart rate through the roof and everybody's ability to attack diminished i really like it it's the way to do it if you're not a punchy sprinty rider that's how you should be racing and that takes us firmly onto the final lap with only two kilometers left to run and remember as we hit that kom now that that final sprint finish is going to be only a k or so after the kom so i'm going hard here but i'm not going to go all out i'm just going to chase moves follow the wheels make sure nobody else gets away put on a little bit of pressure as you saw and that pace was pretty hot because a couple of the less punchy riders were dropped off the back even though they'd had a really high average power leaving us with just a diminished group of six or seven as we enter that final kilometer and we've got to think about how we're going to approach this end game and what i said earlier on was that i would really hope to be dragged to the final k and for it to be that pace well it wasn't that pace but we were dragged to the final k and usually i'd think about going at that one kilometer mark i like to go from a minute or so out but because we just had that kom we've got that little kicker coming up here and then we've got the sprint I elect to leave it a little bit later than that. Use my draft boost. What are the odds of getting the draft boost? Three power-ups in a row when you least need them to squeeze out a little bit of that benefit as we go up the rise, get a little bit of benefit from that group before we come through them. And I decide to do this in true cyclocross, Wout Van Aert style, as we break all the road sprinting rules by going really long, really early, and from the front of that group to try and make it a long drawn out drag race and as difficult as possible for everyone else if they weren't paying attention and didn't try and snap onto the wheel immediately then it's going to be really difficult for them to close that gap and as i look around i can see that those riders are starting to react i can see some huge numbers behind me but the gap just starts to open up bigger and bigger and i know at this point that the victory is mine they're not going to be able to come around me in time i'm doing 60 kph and still holding up big numbers so they'd have to be going even faster to come around me so there you go guys as you can see from the celebration i really enjoyed that win against a tough field maybe a little bit too much some might say this is uh it's, it's, it's tragic how much I'm enjoying uh, getting this. <laughs> 
but it was a tough win as evidenced by my exert gold FTP breakthrough thinking I raised my FTP by 8 watts. So I've got to be pretty pleased with that. Woo. I may have made a mistake going so long and from the front. That Percy out guy, I thought he was going to have me, but he popped trying to hold the wheel. We'll take that. Felt rough today. A win's a win. As Swift did with Granny, he said last time. As I said, beggars can't be choosers. That was a good win. Some strong riders there. Nice to win by a sprint finish. Doesn't happen so often these days. Still got it, baby. These lunchtime races, fast and furious. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you for joining as always. Please hit that like, comment, most importantly, subscribe button. Remember, race fast, ride hard, and that you are appreciated.